What is up, YouTube? Faros here with some Magic the Gathering 2014. Um, this game just came out a couple days ago on Steam. Uh, depending on when this video goes up, I think I'm going to put it up right away because I've been wanting to break up the games we have on the channel. I feel like the channel's been getting a little bit repetitive and while the Soul Calibur is the goodness that a lot of you guys are here for, um, those of you who have been around a while know I am quite the Magic fan. I never played Magic, um, in real life. I never bought the cards RL, but those of you who've been a around a while know I made a couple videos in Magic 2013. I've played the Magics on on PC through Steam since like 2011, 2012 maybe. Uh, I enjoy playing the card games online, so I wanted to show you guys at least a couple videos on Magic 2014 since it just came out. Uh, there's some cool features in this game that I haven't even gotten into yet, and that's what we're going to start this video on. Um, you can go to single player here, and it's got all the multiplayer, the deck managing goodness, plus some more game modes that I just alluded to. So, what I want to talk about this video is what's called sealed play. Now, I haven't even done this yet, but it's a new feature in Magic 2014, uh, in this game anyway. So, check this out, sealed play. Sealed is a new game mode that lets you build your own deck out of cards you open in booster packs. As you play, you'll unlock more booster packs to improve your deck. That sounds baller to me. So this is like the card game RL digitally. So so let's get through this here. Let's let's read through what it has to tell us, and then uh, you guys are gonna see. You guys are gonna experience this with me right off the bat. Since this is new, man, this wasn't in the old games. So sealed is a new game mode that lets you build your own deck out of cards you open booster packs. Right. Okay, good. We literally just read that. Magic booster packs contain an assortment of cards, including one rare or mythic rare card and three uncommon cards. So you guys are going to see what I get. And once I do this, I can't redo this. Okay, now check this out. Select the booster pack to open it. Now, now check this out. When you start playing, you have two deck slots that you get to open your booster packs with. Okay, so for this deck slot... This is like, we're going to call it deck slot one. I will not be able to open these six booster packs again. You know, you guys are seeing it the first time I do it. This is it. This is the hype action. Because if I get good shit, then I'm good. If I get bad shit, then I'm bad. Now, I'm not a, a real big magic guru, like I said. So, I might not know if this is like the supreme awesomeness or the like the test sucks. All right? So, we're just going to go through it. And we're going to see. So I'm opening my, literally my first booster pack ever here. Okay, and we got craziness. <laughs> Look, it's all different colors. So like, right, so you can, you can build your own deck out of all the craziness, man. Is this my rare? It was in the middle. Uh, another target permanent has indestructible for as long as you control Aegis Angel. That seems baller. That's baller. She cost a lot though. She cost six. But she gives someone indestruct, and unless they kill her, that that thing's just indestructible. You can't kill it. That that seems like a really good car, I, card. Excuse me. I don't know if this is my rare or not. Did it say every booster pack included a rare no matter what, or a mythic rare? Um. Maybe I can tell it's rare because the little the little D14 here is golden. It's black on all the others. So I, I well, this is a silver one. I don't know. I assume this is a rare, and that's why it's in the middle, and that's why it's gold. But, um, yeah, that's that's pretty sick. I got... See, I like green. You guys know I like the green. The Faro's green. I like the green decks, too. I didn't get many green cards in this one. I got three. Uh, I mean, this is pretty cool. This is like a Prey Upon, except on a creature. Uh, that's, that's a good enchantment. Oakenform owns... Uh, Death Touch is kind of pro. I'm getting messages on Steam. Shoutouts to the little blinks. The rest of this stuff, I don't, I don't know about. Maybe I'll make a green white deck. That sounds kind of baller. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. The blue decks are okay. I like the illusion decks. I don't know if they're in this game. They were in like 2012, I think. An illusion deck was real big. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. This is, oh, what, what does this do? That's kind of baller. Man, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what kind of deck I'm going to make. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go. Next booster pack. Fog Bank's good. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to make. Alright, let's just... Let's see what we get. And we'll end up... Uh, we'll end up deciding from there. We got another Charging Griffin. Alright, that's got to be the rare in the middle. Yeah, so we got... Uh, man, they cost a lot for being 2-2. Two, two. 
I don't know about that card. It, it costs four. It costs four? I don't know about all that. Let's see what this rare is. Void Stalker. This only costs two. Put Void Stalker and Target Creature on top of their owner's libraries, and then those phones blown up, and then those players shuffle their libraries. Man, dude, I don't like these cards. All right, let's see what green one we got. All right, Reach and Death Touch is okay. Death Touch is good. I like Death Touch, man. Imagine if I had an annoying ass Death Touch build to where if they just attacked, they lost a creature because everything had Death Touch. That the, I I don't know if there's a deck like that, like a themed Death Touch build, but that would actually be kind of hype to try to build. Um, this is okay. Garrick's kind of cost a lot for being 4-4, but, I mean, drawing cards, goodness. What else we got? Silver creatures you control have first strike? That's kind of baller. He's a silver. Dragon's good. Man, we got some good red cards. Well, I, I hate this shit. Attacks each turn, if able. Yeah, that shit's dumb, because you end up losing him real fast. Let's see. Okay. Murder's godlike. Maybe I'll make a green black or a green life. I think I'm either gonna make a green white or a green black deck, or maybe a green white and black triple color. I don't know. That sounds kind of crazy. I heard that the mana, like you know, you need mana to spend these cards. That's how magic works. Um, that that comes in automatically when you put your cards in the deck. So you're not getting mana cards in these booster packs, which is cool. I think uh, you don't like waste slots on that. All right, so this one's okay. Um, yeah, I, I like the green ones we got with Death Touch, and I like the removal we got with the black, and this dude's kind of baller. So, all right, moving right along. I should probably start going through this a little bit quicker <laughs> for, like, the, the magic pros that can just glance at this and, like, tell what I have instantly. Suntail Hawk's okay. He only cost one. And he flies. He flip flaps. I like that. Enlarge is baller. That's baller. Okay, I'm getting good green cards. We got more death touch. Oh, man. Green, black, death touch army. What is this? What's my rare? Exile, brittle effigy. Exile, target creature. Okay. So, uh, this is just like creature removal. I need four to do it. But that's kind of baller. I could just be like, yep, you're done. And exile means they don't even go to the graveyard. I think they're out of the game completely. So that, that's uh, that's pretty sweet. I like that. I like that a lot. You can farm. This is okay. That's okay. Life. I don't think I'm going to be using red. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using red. Like, this is cool. I like this. He's got a big front. <laughs> You know, it costs three. But, I mean, that's not too bad for what it is. But I don't think I'm going to be messing around with the red or the blues. I'm just looking at them because I don't know a lot of these cards. There's not a lot of, or there is a lot of new cards in this version I haven't seen yet. So I'm going to be having to learn these cards. Oh, we got some tramps. This one giant ass snake worm. Worm. Yeah, see, like, a, a lot of this is new to me. So, wow, there's another... Wow, there was another red one I got that s said silver creatures you control have first strike, and then this one is silver creatures you control have haste. <laughs> okay, though that's some synergy right there these two guys have. I wonder if uh you can tr man, that makes me want to play red now, because that seems like they go perfect together. Um, I wonder if you can trade cards with your buddies. I bet you can't, because then you could just organize like really OP decks. All right, what do we got in here? Angelic Destiny. It's an enchantment, gets 4-4 four, four as flying, and first strike, and is an en it's an angel! Yeah, yeah, this is this is the sick. I have to make a green-white deck out of these cards. I absolutely have to. I got another one of these. Um, although I kind of want to do black, too. Green-white, black? Is that a thing? Can that be a thing, YouTube? Yep, that's sick. Whoa! Silver creatures you control get 1-1. One, one. I got a green silver too. Yo, maybe I can make a, a green red one too with the silver. Because imagine if I got all three out. They'd all have plus one. They'd all have first strike and they'd all have haste. That's tempting, man. But the, I mean, you know, the stars would have to align in order to get that shit out. Um, I got another Garrix. That's okay. This is really baller. Look, it's like you got this little turtle and you exchange it for the opponent's dragon. <laughs> Have my turtle, bitch! I'm taking your dragon! <laughs> Yo, 
go. Um. Yeah, that's okay. I could use that no matter what kind of deck I make. Um, put a plus one, plus one counter on target beast creature you control. Okay. Cool. I like that. Unless you have Advocate of the Beast. That's that, um... I feel like this is the card that made it so that red card that attacked no matter what earlier doesn't attack. That you have actual control of it. I think it said as long as you have Advocate of the Beast. So maybe that's trying to get me to make a green red deck. With the Predatory Slivers! Oh man, this is too hype. I have too many ideas. Okay, we got two boosters left. Let's go. Give me some goodness. And we had more black removal removal in there. Alright, we got Tormented Souls. White creatures you control get plus one, plus one. That's pretty sick. Uh, it's not the sickest, but that's a good enchantment for two. It's just white creatures, though? Yeah, see, I'm going to have green creatures. Yeah, I don't know about that, actually. I don't know about all that. If I have a multicolored deck, it's not that good. That's just for, like, the, the pure white decks. the Like, the white token decks, I think. Um... <sighs> This is kind of, well, it costs four Gs. Another dragon? Man, this dragon is baller. Okay, he's a 5-5 five, five for four. And he flies. I mean, he's an illusion, so anything that gets put on him, even like equipment or something, you, you have to sacrifice it. So there's a lot of ways to get rid of him. But he's a 5-5 five, five for four. That's so sick. Okay. Oh, I got two of them. I love that card. He he was the meat and bones of my illusion deck, you know? He's what he's what fucks some people up. Uh we got counterspell. Counterspell's always good. Flip flap's always good. What's this? A, this is a four four for four. See, he's just he's just worse than this guy in every way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That kinda sucks. But I mean it's it's still it's decent. It's decent. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, and gains flying until the end of turn. The Mighty Leap. I like it. That's a good vampire. Kite Shield. Okay. It costs zero. That's It costs three to equip, though. All right, another Suntail Hawk. I thought Suntail Hawk, I guess that was Squadron Hawk, but I thought for a minute, Suntail Hawk, it was one of those things where you put it down and you could get the other ones out of your deck in your hand. And we've gotten two or three at this point. That would have been nice, but... I don't think that's it. That was Squadron Hawk. This is the, uh, this is the Prey Upon. Wow, oh, I thought it was a creature, but it's not. It's just Prey Upon and gives you plus one, plus one. Man, it costs four, though. I don't know about all that. All right, give me some goodness. Last deck. This is it, YouTube. All right, we got another stave off. And each player sacrifices five lands. Destructive force deals five damage to each creature. Each creature are creatures and their creatures and cost seven. Yeah, I'm never using this card ever. Thanks, Magic the Gathering, for my last rare. Thanks. We got another sliver! Oh no! I want to run a sliver deck so bad. Oh, damn it. Oh no. I got so many of them, man. They're not that good, though. I mean, they're just little two twos and stuff, right? I shouldn't be swayed by this energy. Advocate of the Beast, this is that. And I have an Advocate of the Beast, but I only have, like, one. Got another one of those. Got another one of these. Can't be blocked, man. That's good. Tricks of the trade. Got another one of these dudes. And these dudes. I like Stave Off. Stave Off's good. Um, Kite Shields, man. Death Touch. I like Death Touch. Alright. So this is it. Got you another know, Garrix. That's way too many Garrix. These guys are okay. They cost so much. Everything costs so much! Alright. Flying Vigilance. Man. Jeez. Ah. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got all together. That's it, YouTube. 84 cards. Dreath <laughs> deck strength. Weak sauce. <laughs> Use the cards you open to build a deck with 40 cards. Click cards and add them to your deck. Okay. Sure. Alright, so this is how it works. So I'm going to make a deck. Um, use 40 cards. In the other magics, your decks were like 60 cards, I thought. So, uh... 
Yeah, I guess maybe in the sealed game type only, it's smaller. I haven't actually played a legitimate game. Uh, well, I've played the single player a little bit. I didn't think it was that small. I, I think it's still like 60. You want like decks of 60 and normal. But since uh, since this is sealed, maybe maybe it's 40 only. I'm going to look through this. I'm going to theory craft a little bit. I'm going to think a little bit. And then um, I'll get back to you guys and show you what I'm going to start with. Hey, what's up guys? Faros here. That is going to wrap up this first part of this first video on sealed play mode in Magic the Gathering 2014. Wanted to remind you that if you liked the video, give it a like. If you really liked it, give it a favorite and uh, share this video with your friends. Part 2 is on the way in which I finish up my deck that I got out of my first set of booster packs and end up playing a match with it. So, um... And unlock some more booster packs there too. So the sealed play mode is pretty cool. I'm going to be going through it with you guys. And then we'll be unlocking all the booster packs together. And then hopefully we'll go online and, you know, destroy some scrub nubs there. So <laughs> that'll be good stuff. I want to say thanks again you guys for watching. And uh, stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you want to see uh, future Magic videos as well as plenty of other games. So thanks again guys. Until next time. Peace. Out.